Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I'm going to tell you a way that I grow garlic that probably most people don't grow. Not this way. Everybody is waiting for the garlic to get a bulb. They plant it, and then they wait, and they wait until, well, I guess spring, almost summer, and then they have the bulb. I'm not going to wait for a bulb. What do I need a bulb for? Do you know how many times bulbs fail? How many of you have planted the little segments to go back and find nothing there or to find the segment not much bigger than it was? We're wasting our time. Let me show you how we can grow garlic. And it is fantastic this way and enjoy it right away. The first thing I'm going to do is today I'm going to take a trash can that you can get at Dollar Tree, 99 cents store, Walmart, Target, anywhere you want. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna put some gloves on and explain to you why I do it this way. Here in Southern California, we are sometimes a little too warm. Garlic likes a cold spell, though we did have a cold winter last year. And a lot of times we do grow garlic and we do go back and harvest nice bulbs. But there's so many other times you go back and there's nothing there. Why? We're too warm. Even though we grow the soft neck, the ones that do grow here for in Southern California, they grow most of them a little bit up north in Northern California where it's a little bit cooler. So I have found there's something even better, something that we can just enjoy garlic now for the holiday season that we're growing. So first of all, let's start with this and I'll explain it as we go. So you can see how quickly we can do this. I went and collected leaves and matter from around the yard. So I'm gonna fill this up just free stuff that I have collected to get it out of the way and what I do like to do because there's probably going to be in soil and different things earthworm eggs and even the microbes is throw in a little bit of greens so throw in some leaves I use colored green leaves you can use any type of leaves I'm going to put a little bit more now being that I'm halfway up I'm going to add in a little bit of potting soil and sometimes I take soil from other containers and I reuse the soil, all right? It doesn't matter if you reuse it because I'm adding in leaves, greens, and other things from the garden, so the soil is gonna be rich and good to use for garlic. I think I'll add in a little bit more leaves and matter that I've collected. I think I'll keep the sticks out, not for any particular reason, just because. And now, a couple more pieces of my tree color. This is how quick it is. Now we could add in shredded paper, don't put it on the bottom because it might block your drain holes, which are underneath. You want to make sure your garlic gets good drainage. If it stays too wet, even in the winter, that's when they'll rot. And when you go back and look for them, they're not there. But we're not going to wait, you know, till spring to see if we're going to harvest anything. Okay, we're good. Now I'm going to fill the rest of it up with the potting soil or use soil from another container because we don't throw out soil. Does Mother Nature throw out soil? What does Mother Nature do? Nature rebuilds soil. The trees grow leaves, things fall, fruit rots. It falls to the ground, rots in the ground. It rebuilds all the time. Now, normally, if you really wanted to grow garlic bulbs, you would take something like this and you would put like three of them in there because you want it to have room to spread. I'm not gonna do it that way. Now let me explain what I did here. I'll show you the whole thing, exactly where this garlic came from. So let's see how fast I can do this without boring you. Now I bought organic garlic just from the grocery store, but you can get seed garlic, which means it's not treated in any way it is ready to grow. These could be treated. It can have a growth inhibitor on it or it could have been irradiated. The term organic only means there's no pesticides on it. Now what I do in the beginning is I take the bulbs and I sit them in a tray with a little bit of water. What that does is it makes it for later in a day or two easier to separate because right now it will be very hard. Those bottom roots you see there, they're not going to regrow. Nor do you want them to grow. You want to grow each individual clove, not the whole bulb. That's the original bulb. The, that plant is done. It has done its duty making the little cloves. So don't plan on having new roots grow from there. Now with the water, it will entice the cloves that are inside to start to produce roots. And what happens is it will make it easier to separate. So you don't have to peel them, but you wanna separate them. And I usually wait about two days. 
And now you just take them all apart and you can discard the bottom where the roots are. And if you see any of them that don't look right, just toss those. And now I'm gonna put them in different types of containers. You do whatever is easier for you. And of course you could start with one garlic bulb and then work on it this way. In case it doesn't work right, then you know you've got a growth inhibitor maybe on it. So you could soak the whole clove overnight in hopes to get it off. But I lucked out, this, is, this one was okay. So now I've got them all separated and I've got them in like a little custard cup as well as a paper cup. Now the reason I have holes in the paper cup is I'm gonna put a wet paper towel in there and then sit some in there. The bottom part where the roots were on the mother plant, that's the part that's going to root. So you want that down and the point facing up because the point's gonna have the leaves, bottom's gonna have the roots. You can also use a custard cup. Same thing with a paper towel. This way it's not gonna sit in water too long and rot. If it sat in the water for too many days, your clove may start to get mushy and you wanna encourage it to grow. That's why I like paper towels, but you know, sometimes you can just sit it in water. Now you're gonna stand them all upright so the points are facing the sun or up in the air, and then they will start to grow. And pretty soon, usually within a week, you will see roots. And that's all there is to it. If you don't see roots, then it's been irradiated and those will never grow. Now give it a little time and soon you'll be planting them. Now you've seen how I started it and that was organic, but I will tell you I have bought the cheapest garlic, soaked it for a couple hours to get the growth inhibitor off as long as they didn't irradiate it and it will grow. So you can, if you've got some garlic, you bought it at the store that wasn't organic, go ahead and see if what, some of them will sprout. So anyways, now we've got, okay, the skins are gonna come off. Don't throw that away, we can compost that. Look at the beautiful roots in a matter of a few days. In this particular trash can, I'm gonna see how many I want. Some are already, you know, popping the tops. Look at this one. And you can set it up differently when you're waiting. After I soaked it for that couple days, then I went ahead and I put in like, here's a custard dish. I put some paper towels on the bottom. Let me show you. And this way, it wasn't just sitting in the water. It was sitting on a wet paper towel. So that helped it a little bit. So now what I'm going to do here is analyze how many garlic I want to plant. So let's say one. Let's throw that in there. This is just the skins coming off now. Two. Let's say this one broke off, so let's take the top off. Three. Now this is two of them here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them there. Let's take some of the tiny ones and move them over. Let's see, so one, two, three, four, five, six, let's see, I'll go with this one, seven. I'm gonna put eight in here. Now I had three containers of garlic and I took one away because I planted a container in a dish pan. Dish pans are about four and a half gallons, like a four and a half gallon or a five gallon bucket. That's four and a half gallons. There's a lot of room in a dish pan and you can spread them out. So that is really good. I'll show you what I did with those. So now let's get these just planted and it's so easy to plant. I'll put one in the middle. We're gonna make sure the roots are underneath and we're gonna press it down. One here, there's nothing to this. You just plant them. Just get the bulbs underneath. You can let the little top show up if they're green already. Sometimes you put them in uh, some water in a matter of days, you have long tops. I'm gonna get them in here. I'm gonna get them all planted. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's see, I wanna make sure I got them nice spread apart. You can move them, especially when you're first planting them. This is it, we're done. Now, if you think you want a little bit more soil on the top or you want to put some crushed leaves on the top, you can do that too. And now all you want to do is just water them in. You don't have to overwater them. Water them, you know, a couple times a week. As soon as it looks dry, water them. Now the reason I do it this way is if you took the bulb straight from the store and stuck it in a container or your ground, a lot of times it doesn't get enough water and they could dry out. Something can happen to them before they start. But once you start them in the house, they are eager at that point. They're just like a, a plant that wants to take off because it's already growing. It's got all the roots coming out. And that's why I started this way first and planted here. 
Now, why am I not waiting for a bulb? First of all, by putting it in like this, you will have garlic in a week. If you are cooking soup, a stew, stir fry, and you want garlic, you're not gonna pick the bulb, you're gonna use the greens. And let me tell you something, the greens taste really, to me, almost as good as the whole garlic clove itself. It is so rich, so good, and it's green. You know, greens are always so good. You will be able to harvest this all through the fall, all through the winter, and into the spring. Some of them may bulb out, but by removing the outer leaves as it grows, you're kind of stopping the bulb because what it wants to do is grow really big. This is if you want to leave one in there, don't touch it. Let it get really big and green and then leave it and then it will die back and that's when you harvest it later. We're talking months from now. But now you're gonna have garlic that you're growing that smells so good. You'll see when you're sprouting it how good it smells. You'll smell the garlic. This now, you can set it on your balcony, your deck, in your garden, anywhere. You got some steps where people come in and you've got a nice sunny location. Go ahead and stick it there and people walk up your stairs as they're coming to your house going, what are you growing? You're growing your own garlic. This is the best way. And on top of that, everybody says you only grow the largest ones because you want a nice big bowl. Well, in this fashion, you can grow the tiniest ones and still get plenty of garlic. This has been a game changer for me. I have been doing this for years. You can go back and see the old videos. I've been planting them in buckets. I've been giving them away when I do it. Here, you wanna grow garlic? I've been handing somebody a bucket here and there. It is so easy and so fun, and you'll get so much garlic out of it because you're not tossing out the little ones. Even if you go and buy garlic from a grower that you know is not treated or anything, what do they all tell you on all the other videos? Only use the large ones, toss out the little ones, don't grow them. No, you're gonna grow them all. Use the little ones then for your green garlic. Use the big ones for your larger clove garlic later, for the big bulb. You grow it the way you want, but I'm gonna tell you, this is the way we do it every year, and it's fantastic. So I wanted to share that with you. I don't have anything for you. She's jumping on me. I thought you may get a kick out of it, because this is the time of the year we can start our garlic right now, and then you'll have it through all the seasons, and then in the spring, you can decide what you want to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go back and see the old videos I did years ago on growing garlic and using it now and reaping the benefits now. Because let me tell you something, this is my favorite way of growing garlic. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat with your girl. Bye-bye. What do you want? Here. She thinks I've got something. You want garlic? I don't think so. Don't give your dogs garlic.